Yahusha, Joshua 7. But the children of Yahshara'el committed a transgression in the accursed thing. For Achan, the son of Karmi, the son of Zavdi, the son of Zarach, of the tribe of Yahuda, took of the accursed thing, and the anger of Yahuah was kindled against the children of Yahshara'el. And Yahusha sent men from Yericho to Ai, which is beside Beit Aven, on the east side of Beit El, and spoke unto them, saying, Go up and view Eth the country. And the men went up and viewed Eth Ai. And they returned to El Yahusha, and said unto him, Let not all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up, and smite Eth Ai. And make not Eth all the people to labor thither, for they are but few. So there went up thither of the people about three thousand men, and they fled before the men of Ai. And the men of Ai smote of them about thirty and six men, for they chased them from before the gate, even unto Shavarim, and smote them in the going down. Wherefore the hearts of the people melted, and became as water. And Yahusha rent his clothes, and fell to the earth upon his face, before the ark of Yahuah, until the evening, he and the elders of Yashar'el, and put dust upon their heads. And Yahusha said, Alas, O Adonai, Yahuha, wherefore have you at all brought eth this people over eth the Yardan to deliver us into the hand of the Emorim to destroy us? Would to us, Elohim, we had been content and dwelt on the other side of the Yardan. O Adonai, what shall I say when Yashara'el turns their backs before their enemies? For the Kena'anim and all the inhabitants of the land shall hear of it, and shall environ us around, and cut off at our name from the earth. And what will you do unto your great name? And Yahuwah said unto El Yahusha, Get you up, wherefore lie you thus upon your face? Yahshara'el has sinned, and they have also transgressed at my covenant which I commanded them, for they have even taken of the accursed thing, and have also stolen, and dissembled also, and they have put it even among their own stuff. Therefore the children of Yashara'el could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies, because they were accursed, Neither will I be with you any more, except ye destroy the accursed from among you. Up, sanctify eth the people, and say, Sanctify yourselves against tomorrow. For thus says Yahuwah, Elohai, of Yashara'el, There is an accursed thing in the midst of you, O Yashara'el. You cannot stand before your enemies until ye take away the accursed thing from among you. In the morning, therefore, ye shall be brought according to your tribes, and it shall be that the tribe which Yahuwah takes shall come according to the families thereof. And 
the family which Yahuwah shall take shall come by households. And the household which Yahuwah shall take shall come man by man. And it shall be that he that is taken with the accursed thing shall be burnt with fire. He and eth all that he has because he has transgressed the covenant of Yahuwah and because he has wrought folly in Yashara'el. So Yahusha rose up early in the morning and brought Eth Yashara'el by their tribes, and the tribe of Yahuda was taken. And he brought Eth the family of Yahuda, and he took Eth the family of the Zachim, and he brought Eth the family of the Zachim, man by man, and Zavdi was taken. And he brought Eth his household, man by man, and Akan, the son of Karmi, the son of Zavdi, the son of Zarach, of the tribe of Yahuda, was taken. And Yahusha said unto Akan, my son, give, I pray you, glory to Yahuwah, Elohim of Yashara'el, and make confession unto him, and tell me now what you have done. Hide it not from me. And Akan answered at Yahusha and said, Indeed, I have sinned against Yahuwah, Elohim of Yashara'el. And thus and thus have I done. When I saw among the spoils a goodly garment of shinar and two hundred shekels of silver and a wedge of gold of fifty shekels weight, then I coveted them and took them. And behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent and the silver under it. So Yahusha sent messengers, and they ran unto the tent. And behold, it was hid in his tent, and the silver under it. And they took them out of the midst of the tent, and brought them unto El Yahusha, and unto all the children of Yashar'el, and laid them out before Yahuwah. And Yahusha and all Yashar'el with him took Eth Achan, the son of Zarach, and Eth the silver, and Eth the garment, and Eth the wedge of gold, and Eth his sons, and Eth his daughters, and Eth his oxen, and Eth his asses, and Eth his sheep, and Eth his tent, and Eth all that he had. And they brought them unto the valley of Achor. And Yahusha said, Why have you troubled us? Yahuwah shall trouble you this day. And Yashara'el stoned him with stones and buried them with fire, rather burned them with fire, after they had stoned them with stones. And they raised over him a great heap of stones unto this day. So Yahuwah turned from the fierceness of his anger. Wherefore, the name of that place was called Emech Ekor unto this day. <laughs>